Why aren't you in a movie yet? Why aren't you on Broadway? Why aren't you a published author? Why aren't you a best-selling author? Hello everyone and welcome to another video. First of all, I want to say happy 4th of July to all of my American friends who are watching. Oh, hold on, let me show you my outfit. I am wearing this kind of stars and stripes dress. I don't know if you can see, but it's a dress and it's got stars. It doesn't have stripes. I call it my stars and stripes dress. There's no, there's no whatever. No stripes on it, but you get the picture. <laughs> anyway, I wore this to church on Sunday, and my friend Sandy told me to wear it in my video on Wednesday, the 4th of July. So here we are. Shout out to you, Sandy. Thanks for watching. <laughs> anyway, so for today's video, I'm going to talk about how to deal with rejection, because in both of the businesses I'm in, writing and acting, You've got to deal with a lot of rejection, so I'm going to try to, if you're, if you have similar interests to me, I'm going to try to help you figure that out and deal with rejection when you face it too. So here are some tips when dealing with rejection. Um, try to think positively going into situations if you're pitching your book to someone, if you're doing anything like if you're going to an audition. I'm gonna focus this mostly on writing, but this applies to actors too. When you're going into something, think positively. Don't go, oh, this will never work out in a million years because, I don't know, I tend to not follow this myself too. I tend to not think positively because I'd rather not be disappointed, but think positively. Think maybe this is the right time. Uh, another thing is surround yourself with people who understand. This is a very important one to me, at least right now. Because if you're around negative people, you're going to think negatively. If you're around people who are like, well, when's that book getting published? Well, wh why aren't you in any shows? I literally had someone come up to me at work yesterday and who knew me, and they were like, is this your primary job? And it's like, well, yes, this is where I'm getting my money right now, and there's nothing wrong with that. I got a degree in college. I am not stupid. I can, it's fine to be working the job I'm working. I need money. I enjoy this job. I actually enjoy my job that I'm doing right now way more than when I was a social media manager for a company because I'm working around more positive people and I'm enjoying myself. So just be around positive people. Don't let people bring you down for saying, oh, why aren't you in a movie yet? Why aren't you on Broadway? Why aren't you a published author? Why aren't you a best-selling author? Are your books selling? Don't don't surround yourself around people like that because it it will drag you down even if you don't let it bother you at first it will keep dragging you down and down and down and just remove those people from your lives if you can i just ignored that person at work who came up to me and yeah just try to avoid that and stay around positive people in your life and um kind of going off about this um don't talk about it to people who don't understand just say like try to get out of that situation if they're bothering you about your career or your passion don't let, don't let them get you down. Don't talk about it to them. Okay, remember why you are doing this. So if you're a writer, you're doing this, I hope, because you love it and you want to write for the rest of your life. Don't worry about reviews, about rejections, about anything negative, because that's not why you came to do this. I don't think you're like, I want to be a writer because I want to get rejected, or I want to be a writer because I want bad reviews of my book. You know what I mean? Do it because you love it and you love writing and you're writing your stories in your head. They're not anybody else's stories, so of course you're gonna love them the most. So yeah, okay. <laughs> um, work harder to perfect your craft. Um, you might be getting rejected because it's not perfect. Well, nobody's is perfect. Nobody's book is perfect. Just keep working at it. Keep editing. If you get feedback from a consistent feedback from someone that you send it to, that's like this is wrong, and then the next person says this is wrong too. Maybe it. Maybe you should consider fixing that. So just keep working harder to perfect your craft. Maybe get better at writing your query letters. Anything like that. Just make yourself better, so you have a higher chance of getting what you want. Um, and keep doing what you love finally and just find a way to continue. If you've been doing this for 10 years and you've gotten nothing, maybe uh, consider self-publishing, consider just writing for your friends, finding a critique group and they can enjoy your writing. Find, find a way to do it if you want to still have your writing heard, even if, and then just take a little break. 
maybe a year later you start going in the world again of trying to get published and it'll work out for you. So just whatever you're doing, don't stop unless you really want to stop because the second you give up, you have no chance. At least if you're trying, the worst they can do is say no. If you don't even try, they can't even say no. So keep doing what you're doing because one day it will work out, I hope. Anyway, that's my video of how to deal with rejection. How do you deal with rejection? Are you in a career that has a lot of rejection? Comment below, please. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon so you get a notification every time I post a new video. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so please stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching.